Howdy y'all, it's Russell back with Gwinnett Lawns here in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia. And it is beautiful today, it's not raining, it's sunny, which is awesome. Today is, what is today, February the 16th. I told you guys yesterday when I picked up the trailer that I was going to be picking up, I was 99% sure I was going to be picking up the new mower on Monday. Well, things have changed. And um, I don't know how to say this, but look behind me. That's right. That is a right 36i stander mower. So uh, basically what happened is the, I wasn't sure if the place was gonna be open today. Well, they're open, but I wasn't sure if the guy that was the owner that was selling me the mower was going to be there or not. And he was, so I went down there and picked it up. And so now I am the proud owner of the Wright 36i standard mower. I will have to tell you guys, I, this has been a long time since I have had to trailer anything. And I'm going to show you guys what my area looks like. All right, so I live on a steep hill. Okay, cars come flying over that hill right there. And as you can see, I've got two cars sitting in the driveway. So it is very unnerving to, I had to do like a 20 point turn to back into the driveway. I kind of ran over the grass a little bit over there, but all right, for you guys, for you guys that pull trailers all the time and specifically have to back into really tight spaces really quick, um, and I know it just takes practice and I got it, you know, it's fine. I got it here, but I want to be able to do it in one shot because I was just praying that the car wasn't going to come flying over that hill right there. That would have not been, not been cool. And, um, yeah, so the trick that I learned a long time ago is if you want the, put your hand at the bottom of the steering wheel, if you want the trailer to go right or left, you go that way, which is essentially turning the steering wheel opposite. But these little trailers, trailers that are smaller than the vehicle that you're um, towing with, which this, you know, that trailer is only 14 feet long total. And this truck is way longer. It's, even though it's a short bed, it's way longer than if it was 14 feet, makes it harder. Basically, the shorter the trailer, the harder it is to back up. Or the movements anyway give me some advice give me some help i know it's just going to take practice i was just going to go out in a school and just practice somewhere but maybe there's some other tricks tips or tricks that you guys that pull trailers all the time know about i think probably not having this car here i mean there's plenty of room in the driveway for me to get here it's just that i have to I have to kind of back in and pull forward and back in almost to where i would be pulling in my neighbor's driveway and I just want to be able to pull up the driveway, whip it around, and back it in, if that's even possible with the trailer of this length. But anyway, that's not the focus of the of this video. Uh, but I wanted you guys' advice, so let's go look at the mower. All right, so here we are, brand spanking new, and I've never. I have never driven a stand-up mower before. And the guy, before I took it, he's like, you wanna make sure and demo it before? And I am I felt like a retard on it. But you know what? I think in about 20 or 30 minutes, I'll be fine. But uh, yeah, it's a nice unit. It has 0.4 hours. So, and again, the reason I went with this mower is because a lot of the properties that I do are gonna have gates and stuff on them. So, um, yeah, it's nice. This unit I thought had a filter, hydro filter. That's the reservoir right there, but it doesn't. But anyway, yeah, it's a good quality, good quality, very good quality mower, and I can't wait to use it. I would tool around the yard with it, but it is so wet out here. See where I already, made a, a boo-boo but yeah it's uh it's got the fx 600 it's got the 
the heavy duty air cleaner on it and my dealer is about six miles from me and they've been there since the I think 1957 and he made a really 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 awesome deal for me for the mower sorry about that and I can't uh, you know they have loaners and everything I don't know if all dealers do but it's nice to have I didn't know they sold right they sell a ton of X mark stuff and skag and toro but they they're a big right dealer and so it's good i got a dealer i asked him he said yeah we got seven to ten loaners all the time if you have any problems so that's good but anyway guys i am very excited about this i've got to get some trailer racks i think i'm going to go with the equipment defender and i'm going to put the racks because of this mesh uh, I'm going to put the racks on the outside. I have plenty of space to work with so it's not out of the plane. So I'll probably put one here, one up right here and here. I do, I really like these. I, I didn't think I was going to like them, but this will help with brush. And I'm going to put the trimmer, the three trimmer rack here. And I think I'm going to put the, when I get a backpack, blower i think i'm going to put that here i don't really want anything on the street side if i can help it so that that's my plan now the other thing is i am going to i already measured this out i'm going to have my sign it's three feet this way three feet one inch and 24 inches so i don't want to cover the entire gate to let air flow through because it'll drag too much but i'm going to have a sign there and I'm going to put some kind of signage on this side and that side. And the sign is going to look exactly like this. Well, not exactly, but similar. So that is the, that's my old sign right there. But that's the general plan. I do need a drop hitch. I think I need about a three inch drop hitch, but I, I can't find anybody that makes one. I see them minimum of six inches so i don't know tell me what you think because the trailer is a little nose up because this is a four-wheel drive truck i took the trailer off of there last night got it level i put a level on it and then measured it and i think a, th a three inch drop would be sufficient but and i figured it would drop down more but the suspension on my truck is really stiff so it didn't hardly squat when this mower I think this mower weighs about 900 pounds but it didn't even squat on it so anyway uh, I would like to get the trailer level so if you guys know where I can get a three inch drop hitch because six inches that's just that would be way too much so anyway guys I wanted to show you the show you the new mower very excited about it very excited about 2016 and Today I'm going to be working, and I may even do a video on the snapper. i got to get that ready for the scalping season. The Honda is ready to go. Did all the maintenance on it. And so, yeah. So anyway, I'm not going to drag this out any longer. Thank you guys for subscribing if you have done so. And if you have any other comments, concerns, questions, or anything like that, or advice, I can always use advice. I'm open to taking advice, criticism, whatever. Just put it down in the comments. And as always, I will see you on the next video.